Hello everyone, this is Moshe, the Electric Israeli, and thank you for joining my channel. If you're new, please subscribe and help me change the world. One electric car at a time, thank you to all of my patrons. I want you to look behind me, guys and ladies. Uh, lots and lots of snow, lots of ice. We had a huge storm uh, this week uh, here in the Northeast. Lots of ice on the trees and on power lines, and therefore the... Um, the, uh, there was a lot of uh, uh, power outages, like n neighborhoods. Now, I luckily have a standalone generator. Uh, you know, uh, a generator, gener standalone. I don't have to put gas in. It's like it works uh, through the gas line. Uh, it worked once, 13 straight days uh, during Hurricane Sandy, if you remember, many years ago. I have it for about 10 years or so. And I have not used it since then. I mean, it, 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 uh, it, it uh, you know, it uh, does maintenance, self maintenance once a week, turns on. I do oil change once a year, spark plug and all that. You know, I do it myself. And this week I lost power for about half a day. And that's when my generator decided to die. <laughs> decided to die. The uh, igniter. Okay, the, not the spark plug, the igniter, the one that actually sends the current into. Uh, I tried to do it manually, it doesn't matter. Long story short, we were out for about half a day. I got The guy from General came today, doesn't matter, fixed it up, 350 bucks, put a new uh, a unit, and it's going to work hopefully for the next 10 years, and I hope I never use it. Now, why am I telling you this story? My ne next door neighbor has a gas generator, also a Generac. You know, the one that you have to put gas, and he, every time he has to go out and put, put more gas and run cable. So I was thinking how awesome it will be when I get my cyber track. Now, I don't know how much they, um, the uh, battery pack will be, I assume uh, the 500 miles will be at least 200 kilowatt hour. The dual motor, I don't know, maybe 120 at least. Now it has power outlets, the 220, the 110. You know, you can run a cable from the car, which is attached to my garage, right into the house and you know, can hook up the refrigerator, you can hook up the, uh, uh, you know, a, a space heater or something. What do we call, uh, you know, the router, the internet connection, just essentials. You know, essentials and run my, use it as a standalone generator. We don't, no need to put gas in it. No need to put gas in it at all. And knowing, you know, obviously if you know that there's a storm coming, you can, charge it fully and and be ready just in case because even though i have a generator you know it decided to die you know right when you need it i would say a choice word but i don't curse anyway that would be amazing with no noise with no fume you can leave the car inside the garage close the door not you don't have to run cables through uh you know on the street covered with snow you can be secure in the garage with the door closed and you can uh you know run three or four essentials of in the house would that be awesome would that be amazing i, I mean i just when i saw my neighbor i just thought it was like holy that would be great that would be awesome 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 to do that so another great benefit of this amazing cyber truck and if, even if you get the single motor or the double or the triple doesn't matter you can still run your house maybe two three four days i would assume if you use the uh you know the right uh, equipment and you don't over you know overuse or whatever it would be awesome run extension cord some outlets and and, you, and you're good let me know what you think about this awesome idea thank you guys for watching give me a thumbs up and i'll see you tomorrow